pretty. Well, I am going to make a permanent measuring stick out of a fiberglass extension pole which had a saw and a clipper on the top. That broke years ago. So this is how I get a lot of things where I can get to them again. So my plan is to mark off one inch increments. And I can measure how tall things are. Because I think this goes to 10 feet or more. We'll find out. Well, let's just see how my little measuring stick works. At the red mark is 5 feet. And that particular sunflower uh, is a little over 8 feet. But I don't have three hands to be able to do this. And it's throwing out another little flower. This one is 7 feet 10 inches, almost 8 feet. I do realize I have to mark it at the 6 inch mark. So that one is, that one's taller than eight feet? No. Yeah, I guess so. It's on a hip, bit of a hill, so it's eight feet. One, two, three, four, eight and a half feet tall? No, putting the stick right next to the stem, it's still eight and a half feet tall. You guys, you're facing the wrong direction. What is this? Malabar spinach coming up and the chickens are kind of leaving it alone. You can see little peck marks where they've tasted, sampled and decided, yeah, we don't really like that. The morning glories had quit blooming for a little while and now they're back. Looks like with a vengeance. Of course, they have to be facing any direction but where I'm looking. Looks like they didn't get into the corn. And this one, you can still feel the gaps between the kernels. Can you see that? All oh, those lima bean blossoms again. I'm going to have a lifetime supply if this keeps this up. I'm not complaining, truly. I'll miss it when it's gone. Well, I'm not going to give up. Not quite yet. They're definitely enjoying the wrapped and unwrapped figs. They're pulling off the covers. It's like, here's a good one. Come over here. Yep, took that one. So, Deborah Christmas reminded me I can try Irish Spring. I will be hanging it in the tree. My main thing was I was trying to keep the birds out, but now I've got the raccoon family attacking the tree. Irish spring won't affect the birds, but it will definitely, now I can't say definitely about anything anymore, hopefully keep the baby raccoons out of the tree because they're the ones doing most of the damage. The whole tree is being pulled down. How you doing? Did they get full before they got over here? Hmm. There's fingernail prints because it's got a real soft skin. They're eating them right out of the foil. Oh, let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, and a broken chunk. Yeah, you can see where they've taken them off. And those aren't quite tasty enough.
Yep, I'm going to be hanging Irish Spring around each one of my ripening figs. Oh, hopefully they won't taste like Irish Spring. I know it doesn't affect anything else I put them in. That bird. I think that was bird. Well, did the Irish Spring work? No. There it is, and there's my eating pig. <clears throat> that one seems to be okay. Now I just have to protect it from the birds today. Put a new one around you. My other choice is to build a cage completely around the whole fig tree, which I really can't do. Now, did you make it? Yes, raccoons left that one alone. There's eight of them. Wonder if they took the soap too, because I only see two. Oh, there's one over there. Well, there's the soap. Well, they there was no big ripe ones. So, oops. Take that back. They even went after that little one. Right next to the soap. But that could have been from yesterday and I didn't notice it. I can sure smell the soap. No. I wonder if they got that one, but I didn't put any soap around it. Definitely got that one. Oops, I see foil hanging. These are still covered. Okay. Hi, honey. What you looking for? Now, this one I didn't put any Irish Spring next to that I know of. There's another one that's missing. Wonder where all my Irish Spring got to now. Hi, honey. Yeah, there's some more fake down. Looks like maybe with a combination of the two, I'll be able to save some figs. Because there's a big one I didn't get foiled yesterday. And there's still six more of these. No. Four more of these somewhere in the tree. Or the raccoons took them to go take a nice little clean bath. They want to smell like Irish Spring. But it seems to be where they've been hung by a large fruit that's been covered with foil. It's working. So now I have to just pair everything up. Large fruit with foil and soap. Oh, wouldn't it be nice if that worked? You see, that one hasn't been touched. And there's another big one I need to foil. The fig tree does not get a full day's worth of sun. I'm facing south. And between the Eugenia, which is about, say, 11 o'clock, the sun starts hitting the tree. Till maybe 4 maybe four or five hours of direct hot sun. I think that's one reason why the foil isn't cooking the figs. Now this is the heaviest bunch of figs I have ever had. They're normally spread out like most people's, not in tight clusters. I think the foil method would work a lot better on a normal crop, not an overabundant crop. Because these are just smashed together. like you, It's very hard to get the foil between them. But it's not hard for the little critters to get them. <gasps> oh no. Oh no, 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 no. It did it again. Oh, is it going to come back on? Oh. Yeah, it's... Mm, yeah, it's slowly sneaking on. Okay. I hope this doesn't become a trend. 
because it went okay for a couple of nights.